guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this eye look. This is kind of like another inspired look. If you guys don't follow Marianne Chameleon, she is a freaking creative beast and I love watching her Snapchat mini tutorials every day. And this morning she did like this, this cut crease and dotted wing liner. So I was like, Becca, don't do dots today, don't do dots today. And then I ended up with the dotted wing, so thanks to her for that, but I really, really love this look. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. So I'm going to start off this look using the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I'm taking that sort of neon green and placing this in my crease with a MAC 217 brush. So a lot of you guys kind of messaged me on Snapchat and Instagram were like, oh my god, this palette is beautiful. I messaged BH Cosmetics because there was no release date in the PR box they sent and they said they don't have a release date yet so hopefully soon. Then I'm taking this blue color and this is on a Glamour Dolls makeup brush. This is the, the whale brush. And then I'm taking this green on a small sort of detail brush and placing this in my crease and then blending that out. So now I'm taking this dark turquoise on a Sigma E36 brush and I am blending out my crease and then using a bigger brush to blend that out. Then I'm just going to cut my crease. This time I used the Kat Von D concealer and I really liked the way that this look turned out so I'm definitely going to be using this again to cut my crease. So now I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Club Tropicana 28 color foil eyeshadow palette and I'm taking a tealish color and I did wet my brush with some eye drops and then I'm placing this on the outer third of my eye and then the inner third of my eye and then I'm going to take this lime green color and place that closer towards the center of the inner and outer third, does that make sense? center part, you know what I mean? So then I'm going into the BH Foil Eyes 2 palette and I'm taking that sort of light silvery pink and placing this on the very center of my eyelid. And then I'm taking the brush I use with the lime green and going over the edges. Going back into the Club Tropicana palette, I'm taking that darker turquoise color and just placing that on the furthest part of the outer corner and inner corner, just for more definition. So then I'm just drawing like a baby wing just as a guideline of where I'm going to be placing my dots. So then for dots, I'm using the Kat Von D Wolf Dagger Dreamer and Armageddon Liquid Lipsticks. NYX Epic Ink Liner and Suba Beauty Space Panda Hydro Liner and I'm going to be going back and forth between all of them and I am using a, this is the back of a paintbrush for bigger dots and then I'm going to be using like a nail dotting tool or like just a dotting tool, you can use these for painting too and just, you know, going in and adding some dots. So you can be totally random with this, there's really no like rhyme or reason behind the placement of the dots. It's kind of just like, do your thing, be random. It's supposed to be fun. And I like some of them how they like kind of float upwards, so like the, they're concentrated more along the base of the wing and then they kind of like disperse up like, like confetti, you know? So I liked grabbing the NYX Epic Ink Liner here and adding like really really tiny dots because like this brush is super super thin that you could really like get those small dots in there which I really liked. And I also draw a line, drew a line along my lash line for my lashes to sit on. 
and then it was looking just like too much of one tone so I threw in that pink and it was the perfect finishing touch to this look. All right, so then I took Kat Von D's Lemmy Everlasting Lip Liner and placing this in my waterline, or like about, oh, I didn't go the whole way. And then I'm just blending that out. And then I'm adding more of that lime green that I used on the lid, and then the sort of tealish color, the other half of it. So it's like an ombre. I did add some yellow eyeliner into the inner half of my eye of my waterline which I didn't catch on camera but then I'm adding more of that silvery pink shade and placing that on the inner corner of my eye and then I added two little white dots right there because I like the way it looked then I threw on some House of Lashes iconic lashes and this is the finished eye look all right so this is the completed makeup look I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already it really helps me out thank you so much for watching i will see you guys on my next video